what up y'all it's been a fair little minute since like i've you know stream here's the game plan right so first we're going to be taking a look at a lot of this black myth wukong news as you can see there the game comes out august 20th 2024 i'm excited you know myself so i'm I just want to know more about the game, especially because this is a first time studio, or at least to my knowledge, in game science, creating a game and having it uh, be, I guess, presented worldwide, so to speak. And just from my knowledge, a lot of games that come out of China, they don't necessarily make it to market. Sometimes the projects are scrapped. And I believe this is going to be like the. I believe the first major release to actually come out worldwide. So I want to see, I want to see how far all of this goes, you know? So let's go ahead and take a look at this pre-order video. Oh, I just scared the mess out of me. <laughs> Chum! I'm hoping game science to do their thing though. I'm hoping for the game to just be amazing. Because most people that said that they've played it so far are claiming Ninja Gaiden over Souls Like. And I'm here for that, to be completely honest. Because I heard the same thing about uh, Phantom Zero. Phantom Blade Zero. I go lie, that's kinda cold. Are these monks? These are monks. I, I I I ain't even peeped this last time. These are these are monks. Each with like a different symbol on the back. Uh, I I remember that like when I first found out about like Inaru and One Piece. Because Inaru and One Piece is is kind of like on some journey to the West like type of stylization, especially you know with like the staff he uses and then like the the uh mantra symbols that's like on his back and all that or i forgot what he called them that he used to like drum up his attacks this kind of reminds me of that a lot because like he even got like the little the little circles there too this gonna be crazy and then his just kind of looks like a dial his got a, some little spikes to it this one a little serpent base i ain't gonna lie this straight look like it's going cool. ah! And you know what's crazy? I don't know how heavy like console wars are like nowadays, but I do get the feeling that people are <laughs> people on PlayStation might be shitting on people on Xbox for a good little bit. You know what I mean? They might be like, "Ha ha! You can't play. <laughs> you can't play Black Myth Kong." <laughs> Trash. <laughs> Alright, let's actually intro to Guangxi boss gameplay. Guangxi. Nice little effect, but what does that do? What's happening? The poke, the pokes, the pokes, the pokes. Move, the move. I guess it happens when you perfect dodge. Good hits. No stagger though. Okay. Big moves. Oh, 
I do see the Ninja Gaiden aspect of it. But I mostly see like an advanced version of what a Souls like could be as well. So I don't know. I, I think this is gonna be one of those cases where I have to get my hands on it myself. God dang, good comp. Do you only do that when you come out of a Can you only do that when you come out of a perfect carry though? Cause like, let me be honest. What what I'm getting from this, like my vibes that from from saying this now, because there was a game that came out like this earlier this year. Uh, this is just heavily polished, has more style, more flair, um, at least compared to that game. The game that I'm talking about is Stellar Blade. Stellar Blade is it's like a ninja guiding game and all that, uh, but it has heavy Souls like influence in it. The only thing that doesn't really make it a Souls like is that it doesn't punish you when you die. Whereas in a Souls like, that's one of its key gameplay design, uh, key gameplay elements is when you die, it takes something from you. Sekiro, when you die, it takes it takes experience from you, skill uh, skill point experience from you, uh, and and any of the other Souls likes from Demon Souls, Dark Souls, uh, the, the Bloodborne um an elder ring when you die it takes those souls those ruins those blood uh echoes from you know so like yeah this boss fight right here seems heavily boss like uh souls like Maybe I need to go back and play Ninja Gaiden again, just to double check. Oh, he leaped over that thing. That's good. Because I do think that's a thing that people probably don't understand, is that you can have a fast-paced Souls-like game. UX is important, I should say. That's just kind of dope that he just stores the staff in his ear like a Q-tip. That's crazy. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. I was about to say the attacks are kind of basic a little bit. I think that's another thing I want to see. I think that's another thing that I want to see too is um, I want to see what the how many enemies are actually going to be on screen at once, you know? Because uh, right now it's doing the same thing that uh, another uh, game that I played like I think two years back it was called Tamisia. Um, what Tamisia did was when it was showcasing this game, showcasing like how the game plays and everything, showcasing what the player would be doing. Uh, one of the key things that it did that kind of made me scratch my chin a little bit was 
it only showcased you in one-on-one -on -one scenarios not necessarily like when you had to take on a gang of people and then when you play the game and you 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 play it a little bit like the most amount of people that you'll take on at one time is probably like uh two three people with with the amount of moves that's in this game that i'm seeing so far especially like uh there was one where it was like a, a large sweep attack or something like that it would be nice if they kind of was able to blend in like uh enemy saturation similar to like a dynasty warrior style game um but i don't think they will <laughs> That move is kind of dope, bro. To put them in stasis like that. Yo! Did he just absorb? That was kind of tough. I do got some skepticism about the damn a little bit now. But that's kind of tough. And I get it, he dodges so fast that it's the eye damage left out. It's not anything important. I'm gonna try to see if I can find a video that has like the HUD, but. Damn, you gonna smack his dick? Hit him in the head. I thought that was the reason why you tipped him over. <laughs> What's that, berry bear? Hey, is that a black bear? Hey, what up, Kuma? Yeah, good dodge, good dodge. I got a lot of kind of fire, but there gotta be like some sort of meter that you gotta build up for that. That's why I'm like, I wish I could see the HUD so that I could see what's being taken away as these moves are being done. Cause if you could just spam those attacks, it's, it's gonna be kind of wild. Man, got them fire paws. Just smack his cheeks. Bro, let's go back. Let's go back. So rest, travel, set, spell, leave. Kinda souls like S. That also reminds me of a. Uh, Really cool. <laughs> Thank you. Fully restores health, mana, status, and gourds used. Yeah, because he got the little the 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 the, the gourd. Yeah, yeah. Enemies really respond. What up? Then how is it not like a souls like? Because this is a bonfire. This is literally like the same things and the enemies are responding. And you could travel probably between each of these uh, incense. You set spells hit. This is like literally every soul's like. Because this is basically telling me that I can't set the spells away from this, which is like the old way that souls likes were designed was 
you had to set the spells at the bonfire. You couldn't set them when you was out and about, which I think is different than Elden Ring. In Elden Ring, I think you can set them when you're out and about. I'm not sure because I, I don't use spells, but I'm more so big stick get hit type of individual. I go a lot of stuff. Oh, oh, here's the HUD. Here's the HUD. Here's the HUD. I was like, hold up. I'm seeing new things that I didn't see before. Okay. This reminds me of Neo. Because these are probably like either individual spells or stances. What is this? Hold up. I wish it was a little bit more quicker than that. So they. So when you hit, you build up a me. It's a spell. Ain't no way that's a spell. So then you have immobilize. The pluck of many. Red tides. Stone solid. I think you use stone solid though and now mobilize because a mobilize isn't ready. So that means since each of these are spells that we use mana, not what this is down here. Okay. So those were Buddhas he took out. Okay. Hold up. I think I get why they said action RPG. They're going more so the Neo route. They're going more so Neo route. I respect it. Because, like, even... Okay, I respect this. Even like this whole setup right here, it reminds me of Wulong Fall the Dynasty. So there's stamina, there's mana. Yeah. The stone wall ability. Or the stone solid ability. Oh, oh yeah, this game gonna be fire. Never mind, my skepticism is out the window. I think those uh, those other two videos that was at the beginning of this this whole sequence were were different. Yeah, all that out the window. This might be one of those games I'm not gonna be able to, able to play with sound on though. The movement looks solid too. The movement looks solid. And you can kinda of tell that they paid them an excruciating amount of detail to uh, to the presentation of the game. Yeah, this kind of definitely reminds me of uh, <laughs> of Wulo. Hey, what up, Beast? How's it going, Pippin? Yeah, this definitely reminds me of uh, Ogu Law a little bit. This drink will be fire. I 
wonder if you get like different fighting styles and all that with the with the staff. Okay, he's building up a meter down at the bottom right. The bottom right hand corner of the screen. That's right, he can transform so when that meter when that meter gets high enough you can oh so that's your transformation meter. Oh that's kinda solid. Alright, alright. Okay, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh I can't wait. I, I, I decided. I don't need to see more. I don't need to see more. I'm gonna see if they got like another boss fight or something. But other than that, I think I'm good. I think I got kind of what I wanted. So he clapped him and then he took something from him. Which is probably gonna be a power, right? Spell Azure Dust turn into a rock guy. Upon using the gains immunity to burn chills, shock, and poison damage. Defense is the best option. Okay, so yeah. So you probably gonna clap these type of things, or there's gonna be different individuals that you can clap to gain like different abilities. Cause I take it he fought it. Mad and so, yeah. I do like the hood. I do like the hood. The hood is very, very solid. That was the one thing that I was going to be nervous about, or that I was kind of nervous about, was the hood. Not bad damage. Not bad damage. I think my major thing is since they said it's going to be an action RPG, what will they the block? Got two. What will they do to allow you to upgrade the dragon stat? Now he can transform if he wants to. Oh, that's tough. I mean, you rolled into that ass with it. What did you expect? Okay, I see he took a swig from the gourd to build there and back a little bit of him. Hold up, he's gonna take a nice swig in a second, right? Oh, he turned into one and up. He turned into old oh boy. I would have transformed into that. He was doing way more damage than just Wukong. But then again, you was about to die as uh, as Wukong. Oh, 
Oh, their levels. Oh yeah, this is just like this is just like uh, what is their name? What is their name? Ninja Theory. Is it Ninja Theory? Team Ninja, my bad. Ninja Theory is the other people. Team Ninja, this is just like Team Ninjas. This is like the Neo, the Neo and Wulong franchise. That's what it look like we're getting. I think, here's, here's one crazy thing that I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say real quick, and I'm gonna leave it at that. I think all the content creators that y'all see like promoting this game, like let's say doing reactions or whatever to this game, I don't think they know what they're getting. And the reason why I say I don't think they know what they're getting is because they play very niche games. And by niche, I mean popular. If it's not a popular game, they're not playing it. <laughs> I say all that to say a lot of people including myself until i just saw that thought that this game was going to be open world it's not going to be open world it's going to be level based i should have peeped that back when i got to like i got to where was it he did something very specific and i saw like the hit i should have peeped it when i saw this right it's saying travel and leave and all that, right? I think in Wulong, Wulong would, uh, Wulong had like a different menu set up than this, if I, if I remember correctly. But I'm thinking that this is gonna play like Neo, and for a lot of people who don't know how Neo play, Neo is like mission based. It's a mission structure. Same thing with Wulong Fallen Dynasty. It's mission structure. So like when you, cause uh, what was it? Team Ninja's first open world game was Rise of the Ronin, which a lot of people didn't like apparently. I, I thought the game was pretty good. Um, Pretty much what you're gonna do is you're gonna have like these different missions, these different tasks that you're gonna have to complete, or probably in this game, you're gonna follow along the journey to the West storyline. So in following along to the journey to the West storyline, they're probably gonna have a stylized map that you could then use to select whatever mission that you need to go to. And you go there, you fight the enemies that's in the level, you get all the way to the end of the level, you fight the boss, and then that's what it is. But before I triple down on that, right? What happens after he beat it? Because it says level cleared, level fright cliff. Congratulations, you clear, you have cleared level fright cliff. Playtime remaining 1237. Feel free to go back to the title screen and explore other segments. Okay, never mind. I might be wrong. I might be wrong. I might be wrong because this could just be a segment that they created specifically for the demo. I might be wrong. I might be wrong, but I'm going to go in thinking that it's level based because at least that way, if it's open world, did it surprise me a little bit? Streams into sands thou flee. But I will say this, a lot of people are going to drop, a lot of your favorite content creators are going to drop this game. Unless like they're major streamers or something like that, and they can beat games within two, three days, you know. A lot of them are going to drop it. Waves profound, pulsing through the ground. Because this is going to be like, uh, it's going to be this similar to Neo or, uh, or Wulong, Fallen Dynasty. There's gonna be a lot of gray bosses, right? But this is gonna have a very niche community.
I'm excited because this is giving me like a Togi vibes as well. And I've been hoping for like a Togi for this. Or at least a continuation of the series. Hey, yo, that music kind of slapping, though. <laughs> Hold up. I think another thing people gonna complain about with this game too is, especially after coming off the Elden Ring, um, coming off that Elden Ring, coming off the Elden Ring DLC, they gonna complain about this game being too easy. Cause that was the same thing they did with Rumo Fallen Dynasty. I don't think that will work well on them. Actually, I'm kind of curious too. Will they have the elemental weaknesses? Because I would think for him, you're about to die. Hey, yo, yo, sip up, sip up. Would they have the elemental weaknesses? You need to sip up, boy. At least here we know there's eye frames. And you can roll. The rolling is significantly faster this game. I think it will probably be easier to jump it though. Take a sip of your juice. Looks like you get somewhere between three or four squares. Okay. Do you think? Do you think? Ooh! Don't take the dingus like that, Bucko. I could definitely be wrong because that time it didn't say uh, level clear or level blank or clear level blank. It might be open world. Oh no, it's not. Not. Other players should not expect an open world experience as the game is mission based. Okay, so I was right. It's mission based. I I, I thought so, and the reason why I thought so was from what I saw. <laughs> I'm I'm glad that my <laughs> my brain can still pick up things like that. All right, cool. That's going to piss people off. I'm gonna let you know that now, because a lot of people are expecting it to be open world. So yeah, it's gonna. Ooh, month of August. Play some Neo. Get my get myself prepared because Neo's combat system is looking very similar to this. And now, and I'm understanding why they say action RPG. I wonder if they uh, I wonder if they worked with Team Ninja a little bit.
see if there's an article out there. Yeah, that tends to happen. That tends to happen a lot. Like whenever uh, founders or anything like that, or people, might, pretty much the people who who created the culture and the the identity of the company, when they leave, most of the companies tend to go to shit. I go hold you. You know what's a great example of that? Bioware. Bioware gave us hit after hit after hit after hit. For those of you that were there doing that, that fantastic OG Xbox run, when they gave us KOTOR, then they gave us Jade Empire, which is still my favorite game by Bioware. Then the Mass Effect, I would say Mass Effect 1. I didn't care too much for Mass Effect 2. I didn't care too much for Mass Effect 3. Um, Dragon Age Origins. And then there's a slew of other games that Bioware worked on as well, I believe. Actually, while I'm at it. Take a look real quick. Yeah, because they, they did KOTOR. I don't know about that one. I do remember. Oh, yeah, they did do Sonic uh, Chronicles The Dark Brotherhood. That This was a good-ass game. Never went to nights. Uh, and then the KOTOR series. Because they gave us KOTOR 1. Obsidian Entertainment worked on KOTOR 2. And Jade Empire, my favorite game by them. I still need to be Dragon Age Origins. But I remember asking like. Uh, I was like young at the time when this train came out. I think like my brother girlfriend was supposed to give me this train like for Christmas or something like that. She never got it. But somebody got it for me or something like that. I don't remember who. I played it for a little bit on uh, 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 PS3. I had got to a point where, like, the giant spiders was popping out. And, like, at that point in time in my life, like, my phobia was was through the fucking roof. <laughs> I seen it. I never cut a game off so fast in my life. <laughs> I seen that shit. Motherfucker came down. <laughs> I was like, all right, you got it, bro. <laughs> I don't even want to play no more. This ain't even fun no more. I don't even like this game. <laughs> I played a little bit of uh, Dragon Age 2, like back in the day, on uh, OG Xbox, which I was nice. Which I was nice. Uh, but I'm going to beat this joint on PC. I heard that it's like way different on PC than it is on, uh, on uh, console. Because on console, like, I think it was like, like more action based and on PC it's more like tactical based. So I, I kinda wanna play it on PC. Cause that that's how I felt this game was. I felt it was more so like supposed to be a CRPG as opposed to a a action RPG, if that makes sense. Now they still making games, they're just making bad decisions. But yeah, I'm I'm really looking forward to Black Myth Wukong. All right. I, I know what I need to know. I know the important things. I know how the gameplay flow is going to be, which is essentially mission-based structures. Or let me put it this way, because you could say, well, Grand Theft Auto was mission-based structure. Got it. Got it. But that's open world. It's going to be level-based missions where you go through the level and at the end of those level, depending on what that mission's objective is, there will be a boss at the end of that level. So think of, of a Togi, Neo, uh, Neo 2, Wulong Fallen Dynasty, or Ninja Gaiden. Think of those games. When when you when you're thinking of you know Black Myth Wukong, other than that, we good, bro. We good, bro. I'm I'm excited. I I want to see like I want to see how far they uh how far this game goes because I loved Wulong Fallen Dynasty. I thought it had some of the best boss fights in the Souls like genre. Um, especially when it comes to thematics. 
but they're not they're saying this is not a souls like and i think it's because they want to say it's a neo like and I think more neo likes will be made in the future, especially coming out of the east, because those are um, actually I'm, I'm saying that like from software is an eastern developer, um, <laughs> which they completely are. I think the format to make a neo like is easier than the format to make a souls like, if that makes sense. Um. And on top of that, you can control the flow of the story a bit better with the Neo like than you can with the Souls like. With the Souls like, it's not guesswork, but it, it takes a very, very detailed oriented, uh, detail oriented individual, especially with crafting like lore into items, and then outside of the lore into items, expecting and understanding your player base and what they might or might not do. It, it takes a very skilled, a very like uh, detail-oriented individual to be able to craft something like that. You know what's crazy? The same people that's like, screw IGN, IGN sucks. Those gonna be the same people like, oh, Black Myth Wukong sucks. It's level-based. Why didn't they make it open world? <laughs> Those gonna be the same people. I bet you. I bet you clip it and save it until the week of the 20th. What up? Clip it and save it because they're coming out on the twos. That's old school right there. That's old school, old school. That right there should let you know. Yeah, they 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 taking it back. They taking it to back in the day. I promise you, bro. When this game come out, everybody, keep track of all those people you follow and watch, right? Everybody, because they did the same shit to Wulong Fallen Dynasty. And I haven't steered y'all wrong yet. Everybody. Everybody who was hyping this drink, who was sicing this drink, who was talking about, oh my God. This game is going to be so great. It looks so amazing. Oh, look at the graphical fidelity. Oh, my God. Everybody that was doing that, watch when they play it. I, I, I guarantee it. You know, the game was just slow paced. I, I didn't I didn't really vibe with it. I didn't I didn't like the fact that, you know, we went into missions and, you know, those missions weren't really that fun, you know, and. And then, like, you know, it was just a lot of walk up to the boss. And when you finally got to fight the boss, it was like the boss wasn't even a threat. And, and yeah, when if you watch the video, you could clearly see this ain't meant to be challenging. This is meant for you to use your noggin to figure out different combinations and interesting ways to use these spells and transformations to beat these bosses. It's not meant to be challenging. It's a sandbox experience. Well, I can't say that because it's not open world. <laughs> it's an experience of experimentation with the mechanical with the mechanics that are set in the game. That's what it is. 